And as a teenager, Brian Luttrell was one of the superstars of the popular group, The Backstreet Boys. His new solo album, Welcome Home, returns him to his roots of gospel music. I asked him what life lessons he learned by being part of one of the world's most popular groups. One of those lifelong lessons was, uh, was instilled in me as a child, um, growing up uh, and understanding what a... Uh, what a faith-based family does for does for young people today. Um, I grew up in a small town in Lexington, Kentucky, um, singing in church, and I realized I had a, a God-given gift, and I was able to use that gift to to touch and bless other people's lives. Um, so I think you know my faith being my compass throughout the course of my career with the Backstreet Boys, and still is today. Um, you know, you, you branch out, you grow up, and you hit your early 20s, and you think you uh, can take the world by storm. But uh, little do you know how, how real small and vulnerable you are. And I think my faith has uh, carried me through those times. Brian, when, when, what, what are the temptations when you were uh, traveling the country? What, what kind of things did you face? Did you guys fight a lot? Did you worry about whether your next album would be popular? Could you go from hotel to hotel without people trying to break into where you were what, what was it like uh, it was it was very very busy for uh, about an eight-year period straight uh, from 90 96 97 to uh, uh, you know the early 2002 uh, black and blue tour um, it was hectic but at the same time it was um, like I said, it was it was memorable times in my life. I've spent some of the best years as a Backstreet Boy um, and continuing that um, as a career for myself and for my family. Um, I look forward to those times. There were crazy times, um, you know, traveling, being away from your family and those that you love so much uh, for so long. Did you make a lot of money? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Now, how did you decide you wanted to get into the into a Christian career? Now you got a both. You got one leg in the Backstreet Boys, and you got one leg in the Christian world. So uh, you're sort of split down the middle in a way. How did you decide to branch out and do this? Well, John, to be honest with you, I started in Christian music um, as a child. I I had a, uh, a four-year vocal scholarship to the University of Cincinnati Bible College in Ohio. Um, I had a four-year offer on a vocal scholarship. I was going to attend the school and study youth ministry and music ministry. That's what I thought um, God had planned for my life. But little did I know that He would bless me with the many, many stages uh, with the Backstreet Boys to, to really touch so many people's lives. So. In essence, I'm really going back to my roots, um, growing up singing in church as a three, four, right. five-year-old little boy. Um, and these, these are my roots and, and the part of music that's really molded me into a person that I am today. You know you have a new album. Uh, tell us about uh, what we can expect. Well, the Backstreet Boys are back in the studio. We have seven tracks recorded already for the new record that's coming out uh, the end of this year. So uh, we're looking to bring a single to radio sometime in September or October. Um, so the Backstreet Boys are, are brewing and, and stirring uh, a new project. It's still untitled yet. I'm not sure what the CD is going to be called. I'm not quite sure what the first single is going to be called. but. Um, it's going to be a busy, busy end of summer and, and busy end of fall for, for all of us. Well, we, of course, wish him great luck with Welcome Home.